Dear students, welcome to my channel. Main topic of this video is indexing and scoring in information system and sub topic is inverted file index searching and construction. In this video, inverted file index searching for different types of queries are covered. Now let us start. The search algorithm on an inverted index follows three steps. First is vocabulary search. The words and patterns present in the query are searched in the vocabulary. Phrases and proximity queries are split into single words. Vocabulary is maintained for every document in the collection either in plain or block addressing mode. In my previous video, I already explained the theoretical part that is how the inverted file is index is maintained for plain or block addressing mode and exercises are covered on the inverted file indexing. Retrieval occurrence, the list of the occurrence of all words found are retrieved and third step is manipulation of occurrence. The occurrence are processed to solve phrase proximity or boolean operation or different IR modeling technique. If block addressing is used, it may be necessary to directly search the text to find the information missing from the occurrence. That is we require one more level of searching if we use the block addressing. Now for this step that is 1, 2, 3, this is the example. For a given document, that is three documents are there D1, D2, D3. So, first in inverted file index, we create the vocabulary and their occurrences. So, it is created based on the byte. Then, for example, the blue is occurred at the 8 location, breeze occurred at the 28 location, and the vocabulary is sorted in ascending order. So, this is the first step that is vocabulary search. Now, next is based on our keyword, we are searching the vocabulary and we are getting the retrieval occurrences. So for example, of, of, if our query is bright, based or sky, so we will try to find out these words bright, based or sky in the vocabulary of D1, D2, D3. So we will get the summarized information like in D1, D2, D3, bright, based, sky. So for bright keyword is present in D1 and D3, based keyword is present in D2 and sky is present in D2 and D3. So this is nothing but the second that is retrieval occurrences and third is manipulations of occurrence. Now our query is a boolean that is we require either bright or based or sky. Now if we see this then we can find out that bright based or sky is present in all three documents. So D1, D2 and D3 retried. So this is nothing but the inverted file index work. First we require to create the vocabulary then retrieval the occurrence and then the manipulation of occurrences. Single word queries. For single word queries, the hashing try or B3 type structures are used for efficient search operation. Hashing and try provide the O of M search cost where M is nothing but the length of the pattern independent of text size. Storing words in lexicographical order is space efficient and competitive in performance with O log of N binary search cost. For prefix and range queries, binary search try or B trees can be employed for solving prefix and range queries. Hashing is not suitable for such type of queries. Query result for single word queries, the process concludes by delivering the list of occurrences. Union operation may be necessary if the pattern matches multiple words. So when we say the single word query, it does not indicate that only single word. For example, this is also the single word query because here there is no proximity, no pattern. It is a simple bright based or sky and the or operation is included. So this query comes under even if we use the bright word, it is also single word query. Even we use bright or based or sky, it is also single word queries. Even in single word queries, multiple words are there, but there is no specific condition like proximity queries. Second is prefix queries. Now prefix query is nothing but the, that start with the particular prefix. Now the query is the find out the words which start with the B star. Now B star is nothing but wildcard character. So we require to search all the documents who contains the keywords start with the B. Now this is again D1, D2, D3 documents. First we make in inverted file index, we first create the vocabulary, then vocabulary and their occurrences at the particular byte location. Now uh, first we we'll go for the vocabulary search. So from the vocabulary search, we will get that blue breeds bright butterflies present in the second document best is there in the third document blue bright is there so we can find out that is nothing but retrieval of occurrences so blue breeze bright butterfly based these are nothing but and their location so d1 d3 and d2 
three all three documents get treated because they contains the keyword which starts with the b so this is nothing but the prefix queries third is the range queries now the range is nothing but particular range is there query words within the range from h and s that is the words keywords that starts with the h or that keywords that starts with the h and in between that word so between h and s the words are coming hang need retire search sky and sunlight for example this is nothing but the alphabetical order a to z and we require to find out all the words between the that starts with the h to the words that starts with the s so in between h and s n comes r comes s comes and that's why these words come into the uh, vocabulary search so this is nothing but we already created and based on that we will find out this particular words are present in which document from the vocabulary so we are getting this type of uh, uh, result that hang is present in d1 at 23 location need is present in d3 documents at 26 location and based on that our condition we will retrieve the documents now here we can see that all d1 d2 d3 document gets retired for this type of queries third is the con uh, fourth is a context queries in context queries two types are there first is a phrase query and second is a proximity query in phrase query we are giving a particular phrase and that phrase should be appear in that document now here for simplicity we skip the uh, stop words and the punctuation marks and numbers so we are finding out the document in which blue sky comes into the picture now here uh, here we will find out that blue and sky both words should be there so for example here we find out that blue is present in d1 and d3 document and sky is present in d2 and d3 but d1 and d2 can retreat because this d1 and d2 uh, they are taking only blue or sky words separately but this d3 document contains the blue and sky simultaneously after that we require to find out whether these words occur consecutively because the query is blue and space and sky and we can see that here that is the difference is 1 and 6 that is d3 occurs at one location and it is 6 location and we can find out that 1 2 3 4 5 6 so their difference should be 5 so blue and sky appears in d3 and their location difference is 5 therefore d3 is match so in this way we can retard only d3 documents because here our query is a particular phrase that is nothing but blue sky the second type is proximity queries that is query words appears close enough with a specific distance for example queries bright blue with maximum three words or others in between means we want to find out the bright and blue and in between bright and blue maximum three words are allowed now we can say that we are starting with only blue words so b words so blue occurs at d1 and d3 bright occur at d1 and d3 now here the word is bright and blue so blue and bright we take the first instances after that we have to find out that in documents in single documents blue and bright should be there and in, in between maximum three words should be there so d1 d1 if we see that one and eight so lot of words are between that blue and bright and even the order is not proper and if we say d3 so in d3 blue and bright are match and in between only one word is there so blue and bright with one word difference appears in d3 therefore d3 is match even for d1 if we are not taking the orders means if bright and blue or blue or bright is allowed then d1 gets retired that is nothing but all nothing but algorithm implementation strategies context queries challenges context queries are challenging with inverted indices each element needs separate search and its lists are generated for each element because based on the condition from the vocabulary we find out their uh, words and their occurrences but after that also we require to make some processing to retrieve the particular search condition documents list of all elements are traveled simultaneously to find out the places where words appear in sequence or close enough most time demanding operation on inverted indices next is construction of inverted file index from the data structure perspective building and maintaining inverted index is relatively low cost 
time complexity in principle building an inverted index on text of n characters can be done in o of n time data structure we are maintaining two types of structure that is first is vocabulary is kept in tri data structure and each word has a list of occurrences that is nothing but the text position or the byte offset building process read each word in text search for the word in the tri if not found add it to the tri and with an empty list of occurrences if found add the new position to the end of list of occurrences so i will explain this with the example now this is the example this is a text a text has many words and words are made from letters now here for simplicity stop words are not indexed the keywords are letters made many text and words now this is nothing but the tri data structure and it is the compact tri data structure now here the keywords are letters made many text and words now here we always keep that tri data structure also in sorted order so here l is the uh, uh, topmost word so alphabetically so l then we are we can store l e t t e r s this is compact way because after l there is no branches so letter is stored at 60 then there are two ways made and many then m a is common and after that two branches are there so m a the one branch goes to the d and one branch goes to the n and after that the there is no bifurcation so made at 50 many at 20 then text will come at 11 and 19 this is 11 this is 19 and this is 11 so text 11 comma 19 words occur at 33 and 40 so this is 33 and 40 now here in uh, inverted file index here we are not making the difference between this words with no dot and with this words with dot so they treated as a same in inverted file so this is nothing but the construction step reach each uh, read each word of the text search the word in the tri all the vocabulary known up to the noun is kept in the tri data structure if word is not found in the tri then it is added to the tri with the list of occurrences if word is in the tri the new position is added to the end of the list of the occurrences so here first word is letter so it is 60 location so it is added for made like this and when the text word comes so initially we store that 11 reference that is 11 occurrence and after that it is again repeated so at that time also we are storing the its occurrence that is 19 so in this way the tri data structure is maintained once the text is processed the tri is returned to the disk index file is split into two files first is vocabulary file and posting file this is only for the efficient search then vocabulary file because it is not possible to keep this information for all documents in the primary memory vocabulary file stores vocabulary in lexicographical order that is nothing but sorted order ascending order uh, for each word includes a pointer to its in the posting file posting file contains a list of occurrences stored contiguously benefits vocabulary can be kept in main memory at search time and immediate knowledge of the number of occurrences for a word now just see the example this document d2 is there he likes to drink and drink and drink now here only three keywords are there drink he and like drink occurs at 9 15 20 and 1 4 so only this much part is stored in the main memory that is vocabulary and that pointer and the pointer will point to the particular location so this file is kept in the main memory and this particular location wise is stored in the secondary memory because most of the time we don't uh, want the particular location we generally want that the how much time this words appear construction time analysis try operation o of one operation per text character and o of one time for inserting position at the end of the occurrence list limitation not practical for large text where the index doesn't fit in main memory paging mechanism could severely degrade the performance this is very important to understand in inverted text text dot word dot word treated same but in suffix trees and arrays text text dot word dot word treated differently so this is very important difference to understand now one more example for example the from documents keywords are house garden 
many flowers bright beautiful green near house boat main and flume so for simplicity that particular bite location is not shown but we can store easily now first we require to do the sorting so vocabulary is sorted now beautiful branch b and there after that there is a bifurcation there is beautiful bright then f l o w is common then e r s n that is flowers and flown for garden and green only first word is common house and houseboat now here it is very important that house and houseboat so houseboat is not separately it is directly consumed into the house so there is no uh, location for houseboat because after house that houseboat is consumed in a house then next is many and main and last word is near so in this way tri data structure is maintained faster large index construction an option is used to use previous algorithm until the main memory is exhausted but when no memory is available the partial index is obtained up to now is returned to the disk and erase the main memory before continuing with the rest of the text because sometimes it is not possible to write down that entire for the given text that to make the inverted file index on the main memory so we require to do the this task in a part by part so initially we obtain the partial index and which is written to the disk and erase the main memory before continuing with the rest of the text once the text is exhausted a number of partial indices exist on disk the partial indices are merged to obtain the final index so this is the procedure when our text is huge and at that time whatever we are creating the inverted file with the vocabulary and occurrence is not possible to maintain for entire text on a main memory so at that time we are doing this operation like merge sort merging the two indices consisting of merging the sort sorted vocabularies and whenever the same words appears in both indices merging the both list of occurrences because it may happen that in first term we are getting the vocabulary and in the second term also we are getting the vocabulary that is for the partial index creation so some of the vocabularies may match so at that time we require to do this merging by construction the occurrence of small smaller numbered index are before those of the large number index and therefore the list is just concatenated this is a very fast process in practice and complexity is of n1 plus n2 where n1 and n2 are the sizes of indices to reduce the build time space requirements it is possible to perform the merging in place when two or more indices are merged the write the result in the same disk block for the original in indices instead of often a new file so this is only for the efficiency purpose when our text is huge enough and it is not possible to do the task in a single way so these are the references for the video thank you